our stations and offices were set to go solar in a groundbreaking deal with EDF Renewables. In a first for Britain's railway, we would secure clean energy at a fixed cost every year for the next 14 years. It would give us about 15% of the electricity needed for offices, depots and Britain's biggest stations. In August, the first electric passenger train officially ran between York and Church Fenton. It meant a quarter of the 70-mile Transpennine mainline was electrified. It laid the foundations for faster, greener and more reliable services between Manchester, Huddersfield, Leeds and York. You got cleaner, quieter and more reliable services as electric trains started between East Kilbride and Glasgow. The first electric services began on the 14th of December after a £144 million investment from the Scottish Government. It's modernised the line and given you more sustainable transport. The first electric train ran between Wigan and Bolton during overnight tests in June. It followed a £100 million government investment to improve future railway journeys across northwest England. It means quieter and more reliable journeys, plus better air quality for communities along the 6.5 mile route. The UK's first low carbon track renewal took place between Honour Oak Park and Forest Hill in November. We combined green steel rail, low carbon concrete, recycled ballast and renewable biofuel trains to cut emissions without affecting performance, 